In this tutorial, I'll be guiding you guys on how to create and upload resumes on LinkedIn. Alright guys, let's get started. So, firstly, what is LinkedIn? Well, LinkedIn is an online application or website where you can find jobs or upload jobs for people to apply on. Well, it's a pretty useful application. It's usually for business. It's unlike other social medias like Instagram where people post uh, other related content while LinkedIn is more like a, a mature website. Well, let's get started with the main topic at hand. So first of all, go to your profile by just clicking on your name right here. I'll take to your main profile page. And now, on right under your bio, you can see the three option buttons. Open to app profile section and more. Click on more and click on build a resume. Now, there's two ways you can go about this. First is to create from profile. So while you created your account, you LinkedIn probably asked you to enter some information about yourself, your education and all that kind of stuff, your skills and that. And so what, when you create from profile, what's going to do is it's going to create a resume from what you have entered while you are creating your LinkedIn account. Of course, it's editable, so you can go ahead right after you create from profile, you can go ahead and make some changes to make it the, uh, to uh, have your resume the way you want it, unlike you had previously entered your information. The other way is you can upload a resume. What happens there is you have created a resume, like a PDF file or a Word document from somewhere else, and then you can just upload it from your files and then it'll automatically extract information and you and you'll have it saved in your LinkedIn account and then you can uh, send it to any uh, employer that you have met or chatted on LinkedIn well we'll go about both ways in this video uh, let's get started with the first way which is create from profile so go ahead and click on the option create from profile and now it'll ask you to mention your job title so what is it? What is your job title? Are you a video editor? Are you a social media marketer? Are you a manager? Whatever you are. For the sake of this video, let's go for the scenario video editor. So go ahead and type video editor. You can see the option pops up right there. Click on it. And I'm just going to press apply. Well, there you go. My, my resume has been built from uh, my LinkedIn profile. And as you can see, uh, while I created my account, I had already a summary pre-prepared. I had my experiences pre-prepared, my education. I had mentioned some of the skills, honors, and rewards. If I want to go and let's go through each of these options and see if you want to edit any of them. All right, uh, starting with the first, I have my email. Well, no, of course I don't want to change my email. My phone number that remains intact. I want to change that. About your summary, uh, let's click on it and let's see what can we do. Well, in summary, you're basically going to summarize uh, what type of skills you have or what do you expertise in your... Um, it's basically all the other stuff of your resume, but you're summarizing it into just a small paragraph or something. What You can also see what to include uh, from the tips on the right side right here, which is given to you by LinkedIn, uh, what to write about. So you can write about your experiences about how many years are you experienced on the topic. So uh, I'm about three years experience in video editing. That's as an example, of course. Skills, what type of skills in video editing do you have? So I can use Adobe Premiere Pro, I can use Final Cut Pro. Um, I also have uh, extra skills like HTML and uh, web development, all that kind of stuff. Your career highlights and yeah, so basically LinkedIn is also helping you out in every way possible for you to have a good resume. And then after you have written your nice uh, little resume here, you can go ahead and press save. Uh, let's move ahead to on to experiences. Experiences is, is basically places you have worked before and for how many years. So if, you, if I want to add another experience, I already have two experiences. If I want to add another experience, I just have click on add experience. You can have the title, the company where you worked on while you were doing the experience, and your start date and your end date. And then you can write a bit of description on your experience, uh, what responsibilities you have there, like from the writer and tips. LinkedIn again mentions what to write about for the description, your responsibilities, the impact, and some awards you got probably while you were at uh, your job. Uh, let's move on to the next, which is education. 
of course your education should be one and only education that you have uh, you can click on add and uh, add the school you have worked on what degree your field of study and a bit of description of what what kinds of subjects you had uh, going on to your skills all the type of skills you have uh, make sure there are at least more than five because that just shows to have a good resume it just it's a positive uh, point on your resume if you have more than five skills because uh, that just shows how multitasked you are go ahead and click on this if you want to add more resumes you can only add up to 10 skills so make sure you add to up to 10 skills or lower. I prefer more than five at least because like I said it's a positive point on your resume save and the next we have honors and rewards so any certificates or anything special you won during your education lab during your university uh, you can just put it here and yep your resume is built up now you can go ahead on the top and you can see on the top right option there's the button preview you can preview how your resume looks like and how it would look like to any other person reviewing your profile I'll let it load and yeah it looks pretty nice there looks pretty nice there's two pages of this one there and one before I can close this I can also go ahead and download uh, it as, as, as a PDF if I want to send if I want to download my resume and send it to uh, other employers and other websites yeah and that is it for the first way let's move on to the second way now like I said the second way required you to upload a resume so what that what that means is you should have already you should already have a resume downloaded onto your computer and then all you have to do is go on to more and build a resume and upload the resume well how to create a resume before so you can upload it well there's two ways again you can go about that um, not two ways basically of course one way but so you, what you can do is you can get a template online and then go ahead uh, on any application any photo editing application and you can go ahead and edit your resume there add your name add your picture experiences skills text bio all that kind of stuff so one of the applications I could recommend you is Photoshop well but Photoshop is basically or mostly used for more detailed kind of stuff so I wouldn't prefer it for resumes because resumes is just a one-time individual task and I don't, I'm not sure if any one of you also have Photoshop because it's a paid application so another way you could go about this is by using another online tool it's called Canva so go on to your web browser search up canva.com and what this application is is basically an online application that allows you to edit video I mean uh, make presentations uh, edit photos or videos as well so what we can do is go into the search bar and search up some resume templates so just search up resume all right search up resume and it'll give you it'll give you all, it'll give you all kinds of templates and anything that uh, interests you you can go ahead and choose that so let me see what template I might like um, I could go ahead of this this looks pretty decent but uh, you need pro for that so I'm gonna go ahead with any free template that is available um, this one right here looks pretty good let's click on that and customize this template after you click that you'll be redirected to another page and then I mainly want to work on the first page I am not very fond of the second page yeah so I'm just going to go ahead and delete I'm only going to work on the first page so you can go ahead and change the picture that is right there uh, you can change your content information add your education uh, your master of graphic design bachelor degree all that kind of stuff your work work experience if you have more than work, one work experience you can edit uh, so you can move the other stuff a bit down and uh, install more space on this space uh, right here so you can add more of your work experiences this is where your buyer or in other words summary goes and your this is another part another part of the work experience then you have your skills there uh, you have option option of six skills uh, right here you can also just copy two of these and just paste them again so have eight or more all up to you however how many ever skills you want to add and then after you're done with editing your uh, resume also you can also have color schemes there are different colors uh, that you want to add 
I'm not very fond of this color. I might go with blue or red. And after you're done with that, all you have to do is just download this resume and you can download it by just going over to share and pressing download. And make sure that you download it as a PDF because uh, to upload it onto LinkedIn, you either need it as a PDF document or a Word document. So after you've downloaded it as a PDF document, let's download it quickly. And there you go, it's downloaded. Now let's go over back to LinkedIn and click on more, build a resume, and let's upload a resume. And I've saved uh, the file right here. And let's open it. There you go, it's, uplo it's uh, uploaded and I just click next. Again, job title, like, what, 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 it was a video editor for this video. Click apply. And there you go. Your resume has been successfully uploaded onto LinkedIn and now you can transfer or send it to anyone on LinkedIn or your, any employer you have. It's all up to you. Well guys, I think that'll be it for this video. We have discussed both ways of uh, creating and uploading resumes onto LinkedIn. I hope, I hope it helped you guys out and I'll be seeing you guys next time. Peace out.